welcome to autocad training so we will start with our first lecture so first command we are going to see in autocad is limits command so we create the space for our drawing using limits command so you can uh, directly type it that command limits after giving any autocad command you have to press enter once you give enter it will show what is to be done so here it is asking for reset model space limit specified lower left corner so here lower left corner will be always 0 comma 0 or you can change as per requirement but in most of the cases 0 comma 0 is sufficient then you can give again enter where you when you give any input after that you to confirm that you have given the input you have to press enter so I am giving here enter then you asking me the specify upper right corner so here a space has been defined with lower left corner and upper right corner so th these are the two points of the rectangle of your space required so here suppose I want uh, object to be created of 100 by 100 size so I will give 100 comma 100 and again I will press enter so these limits are given to the gear limits are accepted by AutoCAD but these limits should be uh, for appl uh, to apply these limits you have to give zoom all command so to give zoom all command you just have to give z for zoom z is the shortcut just give z enter then give for all a as a shortcut so give zoom all so it will apply the limits after that suppose you I want to create a line so here is a line command so you can all uh, command name is line you can also give the line command using l as a shortcut so yeah, I will say line then he is asking me for the specified first point of the line so with first mouse button I can click from where I want to start a line suppose I want to start a line from here so I will click here then he is asking me for the specify next point or here you can see you can specify the length and angle also and suppose I want to draw a straight line so I can make a ortho on here either by pressing F8 also I can do that if you make the ortho on once ortho is on then your line will be straight either vertical or horizontal so you have to say the direction in which direction you want to go, go take your cursor there and just put the length uh, put the length of the line of what length you want to draw suppose I want to draw a line of 50 length so I will say 50 and enter then this line of 50 has been drawn so after this I want to draw a vertical line so I will take the cursor above and again I will say 50 length then I will come I want to go on the left side so I will again say 50 so uh, during the uh, line creation if uh, some line gets wrong then you can undo it here undo option is there so to take that undo option you just say u and enter so you that will undo the last drawn command so I am creating this line again and here with undo there is one more option is there called close so using that close command you can connect the start and end point of the line so here I will say for close I will so you have to give only the capital letter you don't have to write down the complete close so I will give here C enter and in this way this l square is created using line command so if I don't want this object I can erase it using erase command the shortcut for erase command is E you can also give E and enter suppose I say erase then he is asking me to select object which object I want to erase so I will select I have to uh, take my cursor this is called this small box is called as pick box so you have to take that pick box on the object and click the first mouse button so it will select the object once all object has been selected then you have to press the enter to say that you have selected all the objects so in this way you can erase the object again suppose I want to create a line then he is asking me first point then again now this time I don't want a straight line I want a, a line in some angle so again I will make the ortho off or by pressing F8 also I can do that so here you can say we can specify length and angle so I will specify length of suppose 50 then for specifying the angle you just have to press the tab button so you will be going into the angle area 